and then you end up marrying one. Is that true? I doubt it very much. <laughs> Reg! Hello. Hello, Reg. Who's that? Al Caesar. Uh, yes, mate. It's Hold me. on a minute. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, I really need... Oh. Thank you, Reg. I really that's needed better. that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the matter, mate? You're not yeah. well? Sorry? Are you not well? No, I just got something on my nose, that's all. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right now. I feel a lot better after right. that. What can I do for you after yeah. knowing about your sinus troubles? What do you want... So, yeah, you're talking about uh, women and these indecent... Uh, what's that film or whatever? Basic Instinct. Yeah, Basic Instinct. Uh-huh. Yeah. Basically, the women's on that are all slappers. What do you mean, they're all slappers? They're just like the women in real life, aren't they? Why? Hey, these women want to, like, you know, take a leaf out of my book and sort of, like, dress up a bit, you know, with, with a bit of respect instead of, like, wearing all these mini skirts and low-cut tops and all that. I mean, what's the idea of all that? Well, I mean, they are the opposite sex. Aren't they supposed to attract the opposite sex, Reg? Well, a man's a man, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's going to pursue whatever they wear, you know what I mean? They, they don't need to wear all that crap, you know what I mean? Well, don't you they're think, just, don't you think that just, a woman, Reg... They're just trying to get rapists after them, aren't they? That's basically what it is. No wonder there's so many rapists around nowadays. Are you, are you? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on, no, hang whoa, on a whoa, bloody whoa, whoa. minute. Oh, here, here, don't don't you warn me. I'll bring the fader down. You listen to me for a minute. How can you possibly turn around and say that women, when they dress up really nicely, that they're asking to be raped? What a load of old bollocks no, that's turned out to be. They're, they're dressing up like slappers, I'm telling you. Are you saying that they're encouraging for people to chat them up or people encouraging for people to actually rape them? They're encouraging people to rape them, mate. They're not encouraging no blokes to chat them up. I mean, if a, if what's a, bird, a lot of if old cods want to know so much no, crap in my entire no, life. Listen, do you love your own voice or what? No, I don't. Just listen to me a minute, will you? I'm listening. Listen. Yes. When these birds go out to nightclubs, if a bird's a moose, like she ain't going to get nothing anyway. What are birds? Are we referring to? Are we talking I mean, about feathered birds? What sort of birds are we talking about, Reg? Are we talking about feathered birds? What sort of birds? No, we're talking about birds. A bird is a bird, isn't it? You know. Are we talking about women? Are we talking about ladies? Women? Are we talking about women here? Yeah, we're talking about women. Well, they call them women. They're not birds. They're not the feather kind. They're women. Well, listen, ah. the majority of blokes understand what a bird is. Oh, you don't have to yeah. be like a prick about it, do you? <laughs> Just, just, just a minute, Reg. Just a second, please. Just a yeah. second. What is going? What is going on here? <laughs> when just, someone goes, I don't know anything about this. I think I've just about been stitched up. Uh, you just—I want to wish you very well from someone who <laughs> stick away from controversial subjects. And you know where it gets you on the front Hello, pages Danny. of papers. Thank you very right. much. Indeed. Is it going well? Good evening, folks. Uh, this is a, a long-time uh, reprobate. He doesn't speak much English. Right. He's used to Italy these days. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kaiser. Yeah. How are you, mate? You're right. Rock I don't. Rolling. What is this? Uh, Excuse me, Reg. I'll be with you in a minute, mate. All right. Reg. Reg. Just, sorry, yeah, sorry. Just shut your mouth for a minute, I'm we're, talking. We're Thank celebrities, you. we outrank him. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Just sorry. want to take the bins, just give him a very quick clean, guys. I get done the once over on the, on the way. I want some explanation here. No, no, no. We're all on our way to have Saint Louis, but we were coming down the road, yes. and uh, the car we're in has a television. Just crooked on XE. Actually, that's me, but no, man. And so we said, uh, uh, so we said what, what better opportunity to say than uh, Danny Baker show after the football tomorrow, me, me, me and Paul Gaston. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah. Good luck. Is it going good? Yes, it's all right. Thanks. I'll bet it is. Yeah, it was I'll all right. Get out. We'll just get out of our studio, but it's gone. You are just naff off. Give me a ring. Just a minute. What's this? There you go. Just, just, a, just a little clean stuff. Wrong sort, love. All right, wrong sort. You know what I mean? Danny, thank, thank you very much indeed. Just, the best show. Isn't it great show, this? Get off! Get out! Get out! Thank you very much indeed. I've just been stitched up. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. I've just been stitched up, Trudy. I don't believe they just done that. Oh, God bless them. Reg! Who's that? Danny Baker? That was Danny Baker and Gazza. He's Paul your brother, Gascoigne. isn't Danny Baker? He's not my he brother, looks like no. He looks not it? He's not my brother. No, he looks like you. He's as ugly as you anyway, that's for sure. Don't push your luck. Going back to this women thing. No, I'm yeah? bored with you. No, going back to this women thing. Yes. It goes back to the Second World War, mate. When all the men were out away fighting for this country. Yes. You know all these. So were women. So all were women. Slappers everywhere. Sleeping with the Americans. You know what I mean? Getting up to duff and all that sort of no, thing. No, no, just say, no, 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 no. Get off the phone. I don't even want to talk to you. You're talking absolute load of bloody world nonsense. I don't want to even talk to you. Who the bloody hell is that bloke? Peter. Good evening. Good evening. I do not believe that he just came out with those comments. I mean, women fought in the war. You can't believe it, can you? If women weren't in this country, if the women weren't on this world, men wouldn't exist, would they? Can you believe you're listening to that shit? Oh, do you mind watching another language? I've got family people watching this show. Do you know what I'm saying? I beg your pardon. You can say crap, but don't you dare say ship. Do you believe you're listening to that crap? <laughs> Thank you. What can I do for you? Um, basically, I'm, I'm after your opinion um, yes. on the fact that um, Jerry Adams is in, in our country at the moment, signing books in London, in London stores. Peter, yep. I have to say to you very, very honestly, that I am not in a position, not that I've been, because no one's ever shut me up about anything. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to talk about it. That's how offended I feel by you even mentioning it. I'd rather not talk about that full stop. This is my own personal opinion, not the opinion of the BBC. I believe in peace. I love the Irish people, but I really don't want to talk about Jerry Adams. You're offended by what I'm saying or offended by the fact that he's in the country? I'm offended full stop. Would you respect that opinion? 
Yeah, yes. I think... Thank you. Say that, change it, talk about anything else that you want to, but just don't talk to me about Jerry Adams. Okay. Thank I you. Think, I think from what you're saying that perhaps um, you agree with what I was going to say. I, I'm not agreeing with you, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm just offended by the whole issue. Listen, I love you, thank you for calling. It's not on. No, cheers, mate. Thank you, bye-bye. Uh, who's on this line? Hey, right, Joe! Hello. Saw you, hello. <laughs> Sorry, who's this? Hello, it's Mark. Uh, hello, Mark. Nice to talk to you, Mark. Hello. hello. I, I don't want to talk to you about Jerry Adams. Thank you. All right? Yes, um, uh, Nice to see a guy enjoying his work. Thank you very much. Yeah. I've been doing this for the last, like, 15 years, and I thoroughly enjoy every minute of it. It's good of you to put yourself on the spot, and um, I, I like to hear a man who, who, who says he don't believe and all that, you know. Well, listen, at the end of the day, I'm supposed to be a shock jock, and to be totally honest with you, all I like to do is come up here and just talk the truth. Yeah. Let's not beat about the ball. Let's not talk a lot of old crap. Let's just be honest with each other. Pick up the phone, ring me, anything that offends you, let's talk about it. Good man. We don't have any censorship. BBC Two are, are moving forward. They're not going backwards. No, no, I think it's pretty good. Lo lo uh, long live the free press, eh? Well, <laughs> I I'll draw the line somewhere along that. I'm not going to go too far by saying that, lovey. <laughs> All right, then. Well, well, I will. Allow me to, eh? You've just done it. Thank All right. Thank you very much indeed. Listen, let, yes. me, let me ask you a question, right? Please do. Um, you said you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the supernatural, right? No, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, I think you did. No, you're, you're, you're talking about the trailers. Ah, uh, right. Right, OK. What I am saying to you is that I'm a bit disillusioned. Yeah. You have to listen to what I was saying. Ah. I am a Greek Orthodox. Right. Of course I believe in God. Oh, you do? But I have to say that I'm a bit disillusioned, especially as God's chosen ones, and I'm referring to the vicars and priests, yeah. I'm reading about them in every Sunday newspaper, about them being in sex orgies, in kinky clubs, in gay yeah. clubs. You know, I'm beginning to wonder, well, hang on a second, these are the people that are preaching the Bible to us, who are preaching the good ways of God, and some of them are perverts. Can I make a very important point there? You can. Um, that doesn't mean that there's no God. But of course it doesn't. Just because his representatives, or those that claim to be his representatives, are, are, are not doing a particularly good job, doesn't mean that there's no... God or that Jesus was not who he said he was. But an atheist would argue with that and say, well, if there is such a thing as God, would he allow people like this to represent him? Well, uh, yeah, well... It's the, a question, the, isn't it? The, the Pharisees did, and uh, it was them that nailed him to the tree, yeah? That's a fair statement. That's a fair statement. OK, well, so they've always played their part, and they probably always will do, uh, well, un until uh, whenever. We've only got to go back several hundred years. And do you remember when God was there with all his disciples? Yeah. And he went round and he said, Peter, I want you to drink wine with me. Yeah. And then he went over and, and he carried on round the table, Mark, Luke. And then, he went, and then he, when he got to Judas, he yeah. said to Judas, Judas, you're going to betray me. And do you know Judas stood up and said, there's no need to take it out of me because you're pissed. Mm. Never mind, it's a joke. Listen, thanks for calling.